Okay, so something quite special here. We've got a 1989 BMW E30 325 Touring. Now, what's special about it is this little badge on the back. 325i X. So that means it's four-wheel drive. They didn't make a right-hand drive E30 325i X. This car was bought new and then sent straight to Autobahn, which is a specialist up in Hexham, not far from here, who converted the left-hand drive car over to right-hand drive at a cost of about £7,000. We've got a copy of the receipt for that. It's then been bought by the current owner. Um, it was last on the road in 2008. He's started to put it back together. Um, it is a running driving project. It does need some stuff doing to it. We do have... So I've, I've placed things like the grills and the lights in just so you can see exactly what they look like. But it does have a bunch of parts with it. So we've got the side skirts for both sides, all the arch extensions, there's three here. There is one on the car, I believe. Uh, yeah, on the rear driver's side. So you've got rear passenger, both fronts, the corners for the down on the side skirts. You've got your bumper corners and the bumpers themselves. We've also got a few other bits and pieces here as well, which we'll go through. But more importantly, it is a Schwartz E30 Touring. Um, it is a 325iX, like I've mentioned. It does come with the sports trim interior and it is manual. We'll go around and we'll have a look at it. Um, we pulled it out of a garage. It's been there for about 10 years from what I understand. Like I say, last on the road in 2008, we put a booster on it and it, it, it fired right up. But it's a BMW, you can't expect that really. So it's had two new wings put on the front. Um, there's a little bit of a repair required down here on the bumper corner, hence why the bumpers are off. You know, it, it does need some work, but it's certainly one that's worth saving. It needs a couple of little patches on the sills by the looks of things. Bodywork itself is actually not that bad. It's quite straight. Doesn't seem to be covered in dings or anything like that. And again, obviously this rear bumper's off. Correct original wheels still on there. It needs the odd little bit. It does seem to be pretty good underneath, but again, I would suggest come in and have a look and make your own opinion. You can see a little bit of crust here where the bumper sits. It's just where it traps moisture. It happens on all of them. It's not so bad on this side, a little bit at the bottom, but again, it's in this state, so you might as well get it finished. It does have a Scorpion stainless system on by the looks of things. Someone, for some reason, has put a Sierra 4x4 barge on there. don't know why they do that. A um, little blurb on the bottom there. The rest of the frame is good. The roof does have a little bit of fading here and there, but it is nice and straight. There's no dents in it. It is a sunroof model. Around the sunroof seems to be pretty good. There's a couple of little blebs in the actual sunroof itself. Obviously something you'd sort out when you're painting the rest of the car. There is some scabbing up on this arch, as you can see. Once an arch putting in it. And then it's got some on the sill on this side as well. But again, on this side, nice and straight. Looks to have all the original stamped glass in it. They seem to be on every single one. We'll double check. Yep, yeah, all the way around that side. All the way around this side. So that's always good to see. And in the boot as well. It is, or it appears to be, 99.9% .9 complete. There's nothing I haven't found yet that I'm looking for, apart from it's missing the two front indicator lenses. It's not the end of the world. Easy enough to get. You can get pretty much anything for these these, these things nowadays. Um, yeah, so it's, it's got all of its body kit, like I said, to put it back together. The interior is in really good shape. We haven't touched this at all. I've took some parts out of it, and that's it. So it is the cloth sports seat, so it's got the bigger bolsters, and it's got the adjustable fronts. Um, and then, obviously, it's got the extra adjustments on the side. It is super clean. The car's done 187,000 kilometers, so 115,000 miles. Um, but overall, the interior is in really good condition. It's on the original three-spoke wheel, no sign of any wear or damage. Stereo is missing, but the original heater controls are there. The, the drip computer is there. The screen might need a little bit of attention by the looks of things. Everything on the dash seems to work as well. It's telling me we're not that far off an inspection, but obviously it's sat since 2008, so I would suggest it probably needs one. There is a small crack in this top piece of the dash where they always go. Other than that, the rest of the dash is good. 
door card's nice and clean on that driver's side as well. It is a nice spec car, this, so like I say, cloth sport seats. It's got front and rear electric windows. And that back bench has been folded over while it's been in storage, so it's, I don't think it's seen much much attention at all. It's not seen any, 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 any abuse, I don't think. Nice and clean. Again, the backs of the seats are all nice and clean. There's no rips or tears in there. And this is, it's quite a rare interior now. It's probably worth 1,500 quid, a couple of grand on its own. Especially in this condition. I mean, you, you just, you couldn't replace that. Indicator lenses, you can find them, but where do you, where do you find seats in those conditions, original ones? You just don't. So yeah, really good. We've got a, a booster on it, just obviously to get it started for you, but Boot's all complete as well, so we've got both side panels for the battery covers. Boot carpet's all in place, and it's still got the original roller. We'll open the bonnet and have a look under there. Remember, got the right side. Have to excuse the dodgy camera, mate. So we haven't, all we've done on this, when we pulled out of the garage, is we gave it a quick wash down. Um, we haven't touched the engine bay, so there is quite a lot of dust and stuff on it. But it is exactly as, as we found it. We literally put a booster pack on it, and it, it, I mean, it drove up the trailer. It didn't even need brakes freed off or anything like that. These seams and everything are quite good. All the inner wings seem to be nice. I mean, it has been in the garage, it's been dry stored. Start it up. There you go. Fires straight up. The idle's really happy. I mean, we left it running while we washed it down. It doesn't seem to have any overheating issues. It idles quite happily. Nothing to complain about there at all. Definitely a car worth saving. It is complete, or 99.9% .9 complete. 325i manual x touring arguably and we're going to do a bit of research on this but we do believe it is the only one in the country one of the bmw dealers down south did make 25 right hand drive cars or converted 25 lefties into rights um but bmw kicked off a little bit of a fuss and had them recall and destroy the cars this is the only one that we're aware of the specialists who did this don't know of any other ones so you could probably argue you could rock up to any BM show in the world and you're going to be the only guy there. Any questions, any inquiries, get in touch. Happy to do video calls or send extra pictures or whatever you need. Thank you very much.